Hey there guys, what's up? Ragtor here, welcoming you back to Ladder Anxiety. Competitive games can be really intimidating, and they can be really hard to get into, and it can be especially frustrating when you have no idea what you're doing. But, I am here to show you that new things don't have to be terrifying, and that they can be fun as well, and that competitive games can be a nice way to relax. So we're going to sit down, and we're going to play some Pokemon Showdown. And the twist for today is we're going to play a tier that I have literally never touched. We're going to play the PU tier, with a team that I put together last night. We're going to battle anyone that comes our way, and win or lose, we're going to have a nice, pleasant experience. So I have no idea if my opponent's team is good or not, but we're going to have fun anyway. Now I have a dedicated lead on this team in the form of Golem. Golem's job is to get up stealth rocks and then explode, so this mischievous could present a problem for that, but it doesn't have to because we have the Sucker Punch, and if it does present a problem then we do lose our Golem, and it's not a big deal. It doesn't have to be scary to try and learn new things. You can always have a good time. So. I'm going to get off Golem, and my opponent is going to get out their Lapras. So, we're just immediately going to begin with our Stealth Rocks. And now, it should be pretty evident what I want to do, but I'm just going to explode. My Q-Stop Barry will let me go first. Oh, but my opponent has Ice Shard. Very well played. Very well played by my opponent indeed. Now, I believe the next thing that we should do is we should go out to Ninetales, and because I'm expecting this Lapras to go for the waterfall, I'm going to set up a substitute, just to see if I can't scare it out or not. So, Lapras is going to go for the waterfall, and it is going to break my sub. That tells me I probably can't stay in on it, but I am at least faster. In the meantime, I think it would be poignant to switch into Licky Licky. Let Licky Licky take a little bit of damage. Lapras is going to go for the Dragon Dance. That's okay. I have Body Slam in order to mitigate some of the effectiveness of this Lapras. Oh, but I do get flinched. That's not so good. But that's okay. We can still have a good time. Lapras is going to go for a second Dragon Dance. So if I could get off a Paralysis, that'd be fantastic. Not going to get it this turn. Poor Licky Licky trying his best. But... That's okay, Licky Licky, because I still believe in you. So, Lapras is going to go for another Waterfall. I'm going to get off another Body Slam, and this time I am going to get the Paralysis. Ah, but the Lapras shows it's carrying a Lumberry. So now, if I were to go for the Will-O-Wisp with my dear friend, Mr. Garrogeist, I could get off a Will- or I could potentially ruin this thing's sweep. And if I can't, then once again, that's perfectly okay. I don't have to win to have fun. We're just here to sit down and relax and enjoy ourselves. So, I'm probably going to lose poor Garrogeist Super 2 and Ice type move, but Garrogeist is out here to maybe get us one last chance to get a KO here. The Ice Shard is actually not going to pick up the KO, and I am, in fact, going to be able to get off the Will O Wisp. And with no Lumberry on the Lapras now, I think it's much less effective. Now, a cool thing I think we can do is because Lapras' attack is so high, I can go for the foul play. Oh, but we are going to get flinched, and that's not so good. Lapras is getting whittled down more and more. I think let's try one more foul play, and then we'll go for the synthesis next turn. Oh, but the foul play is going to pick up the KO, so Lapras is knocked out of the game. We did lose two Pokemon in exchange for that, but I do have Stealth Rocks up. So Lapras and Dodrio are not going to enjoy taking that, and that makes me pretty happy. But also seeing a very strong and very good opponent makes me happy too. Can't complain about that at all. Now, this Dodrio is going to hit very, very strong. It's go er, very hard, rather. I believe, though, that I can take a hit from it and get off a Will-O-Wisp. I cannot take a hit from it, and I am in fact going to go down to the Brave Bird. Now this leaves things up to Ninetales, and Ninetales speed ties with this Dodrio. So basically, can we... well, Ninetales is going to miss that Fire Blast. That's going to hurt us quite severely. Unfortunate in the end, but 
Kingler, in the end, should be able to come out here and do something quite magical. Let's get an agility with Kingler and see if we can't take a hit from Dodrio. If we can get a, uh, an agility off, we should be able to outspeed and wreck the rest of my opponent's team. Now, let's go for a crab hammer just to finish off the Dodrio. And while our time is ticking, if I can take out some vital targets like that Rapidash and that Levani, I think I can win with Tangela. Tangela's quite bulky, it's got some good defenses. This agility is going to be problematic for my opponent, but so is this Levani. So it's really a race to the finish on this regard. Levani's focus sash gets knocked off. The Leaf Blade is going to take out poor Kingler. So let's see if old Tangela is up to the challenge. Step up to the plate, Tangela. It's time for Hidden Power Ice. Levani is going to go for its Swords Dance. And my Hidden Power is going to take it out. So let's see what else my opponent has up their sleeve. It's the Rapidash out next. This is definitely going to hurt. But maybe with a Sleep Powder, I can take a second hit. It does have a Citrus Berry. The Sleep Powder makes contact. Let's see if my Giga Drain can't get me back some of my HP. That was a critical hit. It is going to put me into respectable HP levels. I'm not sure if I want to Leaf Storm and cripple my special attack, so I'm just going to go for another Giga Drain. Knock Lapras down to 6% HP. It needs to stay asleep for one more turn or the game's over for me. Lapras is going to stay asleep. Not Lapras, sorry, Rapidash. And I am going to be able to pick up the KO with Tangela. Now Mischievous is out here. Let's go for the Sleep Powder one more time. It's going to miss its Will-O-Wisp. And I'm going to get off my Sleep Powder. Very pleased about that. Let's see how much damage our Giga Drain will do. Enough. I would say that's quite enough. Let's go for another Giga Drain. Mischievous is going to wake up. Go for the Will-O-Wisp again, and it's going to miss again. So one more Giga Drain, and I will take away the last of Mischievous's HP. It is going to get off that Will-O-Wisp, though, but I am going to take it out with Tangela. So now it's just down to Tangela versus Raichu. And let's see how we can do things here. Now this Raichu's carrying an air balloon. So it doesn't have a Focus Sash. I'm just going to go for the Leaf Storm and hope for the best. It goes immediately for the nasty plot. Leaf Storm is going to take it out in one hit, though. And that was an excellent game. Oh, my opponent left before I could say GG back. Wow. <laughs> that was actually a really crazy intense battle. Things went very, very well for both sides there. Tangela obviously walking away the MVP. My opponent's MVP was... Probably that Lapras. I would say losing Lapras was definitely the biggest crux to my opponent's team. Although Rapidash and Dodrio were able to do a significant amount of work themselves. I'm really impressed with my opponent, but moreover, I'm super impressed with Tangela. Tangela did an excellent job. It's It performed way better than I thought it would. A lot of that did come down to luck. That, Lapi that Rapidash staying asleep for as long as it did really helped as did my opponent missing those Will-O-Wisps, but I could have just as easily missed a Sleep Powder, the Rapidash could have woken up at any time. A lot of luck went into that, but also, I think, I think a lot of over-preparation for my opponent kind of played in there, because Lapras setting up two Dragon Dances, Levani going for a Swords Dance, Raichu going for a Nasty Plot, I mean, I don't know if Raichu could have gotten the KO without the Nasty Plot, but it definitely left my opponent open to some choice attacks, so I'm not really sure. That was a fun game to play, but I don't know. You do have to take these kinds of things as they come. Sleep Powder did its intended job, Tangela did its intended job, and really, aside from messing up with Licky Licky and Ninetales, I think I played this team to its strengths, so. I don't really know. What do you think of this battle, and do you think I deserve that win? Well, either way, whatever happens, happens. That's the point of ladder anxiety. Whether you think I deserve the victory, or 
whether you think I'm a hack scum. That's kind of the beauty of it, because you can just sit down and walk away with a few games, and that game was pretty fun for me. But that's all besides the point. The point is to keep you having fun and relaxed. So let me know what your experiences were. If you've been playing along with Ladder Anxiety, I'd love to hear them. And if you had fun, please tell me so with a like and a comment. I will be back next time with some more Pokemon Showdown. I've played all of the tiers I really like so far, so we'll probably start revisiting some with some new teams. I hope that's okay. Until next time, take care and have a good one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.